good everybody my name is alchemy welcome to the channel today we are going to be taking a look at how to make these bases that i've been making which i've got tutorials on my youtube channel i've got master classes available for the high tail ass members and also presets available on my website to the next level so what we've got here is pretty much just a base and then you activate a rack and it goes like this then you've got a generator that will make crazy effects. Makes it super evil and whatnot. This LFO here helps control the neuro stuff into something that's more predictable. It's always going to do the same thing. And that follows basically the same LFO pattern that's nested within the devices here. And then we've also got the ability to change our patterns. But even still with all that, there's a couple of other things that I kind of want to talk about, which is coming into the idea about creating baselines. And what I want to discuss is the idea of creating rhythms and also plucks and donks and stuff to use this into like just laying down a track and so one approach that i found that I, we did on stream today was the idea of creating a multi-stage envelope that controls the generator and neuro racks in order to find different i guess uh how do you say like different plucks and stuff that follow a specific rhythm but the actual timbre and movement of them might be a little bit different so to put things into perspective, one thing that I'm going to do is lower this an octave. And now we're at a super low note. But something that I want you all to try and think about is a couple of things. One is that we can apply a filter on the top end and add another group, which is really cool. And by the way, this is like a super advanced sound design tutorial. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, then go watch my comprehensive guide to neuro-based stuff but we can essentially use this to create this multi-stage envelope here to be able to control that. So we just need to turn on the shape and you can see that this is now activating the neural rack via this LFO here. So we can come into this and control this here. And this is great because this applies an entire host of effects that are moving at random, but this allows us to have a little bit more control. So if we were to make something, I don't know, this is, going to be insane and most likely dumb but just for the sake of context and then we can also move this into a different time signature here And then whenever we add the generator, we can also add this to the generator if we want to, which I've got a macro over here. So now whenever I start to add this, we're gonna apply the same LFO effect to the generator here, and that will give us some more different results. We can even try to flip this over. That's pretty neat. We can also maybe think about creating a different piece of movement here, but hopefully you're starting to see the idea about how freaking sick this is. And you can do this with LFO tables. You can do this with just a regular LFO, but essentially we're creating insane patterns that are low key pretty nuts and pretty makes it a lot easier to use like in the context of just a song or whatever. And then you can bounce out a bunch of versions of these, but. And then what we can also do is maybe shift the phase of this over here and And something else to play with too is that once you have this rack set up to here, we have the low pass filter and then some just other filter movements that are coming over this. It's pretty neat 
because you can kind of move this filter in between these other two racks that we have to see if you can get different results. throwing that in between the the multi-pass and the generative snap heap But there's a lot of possibilities that you can find in between. It's kind of just a matter of fine tuning everything. I'm gonna move this back over here and turn the shape off. So turn this off because there's a lot of other stuff that you can try in which to add an extra piece of uh, interest to this. So one thing that you can try is by also adding something that's kind of like a low bass pluck to this to help add interest. So if we turn the shape back on and I'm gonna turn these off for a hot sec so that way we can listen to this. You can actually add in you know, either like a sine wave or some kind of FM device to make this have a stronger layer. Now we can turn this on and see what that sounds like. So now when we get back into those same ideas about using this and we turn the shape back on to those other directions, we can kind of have something that's a little bit more solid kind of flowing through the signal chain. And we are doing some insane stacking and stuff, but that's why you always make sure that your low end is in mono. And uh, I cover more of that in the Comprehensive Guide to Neurobase 3, but if you are making these on your own and you're looking forward to like taking these to the next level, that's pretty much what we're looking at here to create some crazy crazy sounds. So, you know, now that you're creating these kind of cool little donk things or whatever, you can kind of just play around with either doing this stuff at random. So for one, you can turn this off and turn this off and just use it how we did from before. Then you can add your generator. suddenly you pretty much just have an infinite amount of variation of bass phrases and whatnot to play with. And remember that you saw it all here first on the Alchemy channel. So thank you all so much for watching. If you are wanting to check out like the basic version of these presets without the shaper, which is just the neuron generator, I've currently got many presets out, which are the Eternum presets for uh, Faceplant on my website. I'm working on Eternum 4 right now, and this is kind of just a little sneak peek about what we're getting ready to have planned and whatnot. But let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you found any cool tricks or if you've got anything for me to try or that you would like me to add to this patch. But this should be like your one-stop shop to everything that you need. So yeah, alchemy.com or become a member and have access to a lot of these as well. Either way, I will see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.